Also, quick message I want to give you guys. You might be going through struggling right now. Struggling to, you might be working a job, you might be, um, you know, maybe getting by month to month, maybe you're struggling with finances, maybe you're struggling with, you know, trying to get your first deal and you've been talking to sellers, you've been making offers, you've been trying to get deals done and it just is not working for you and you're, and you're pushing and you believe you're doing everything right um, and you're, uh, you're putting forth the effort and energy, you want to make this happen, but for some reason you can't break through, right? You've, um, you know, you are basically struggling on all angles, right? Mentally, you're, 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 you're drained from always trying to fight and fight and fight and fight. Every single day you wake up and there's a struggle and there's some sort of chaos or some sort of uh, thing that's stopping you, right? So whatever that might be, whatever that, 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 that thing that's bugging you, that's stopping you, the obstacle, the, the, um, the fear, the anguish, um, the bad circumstances that are happening, anything that's that, all that in your life, I want to let you know that uh, that whatever it is, whatever you have, cast it upon the Lord. Cast it upon God. You might not believe in God, whatever you believe in, just cast it off. Have 100% faith that all things happen for a reason, happen for a purpose, and then outlast the season. Outlast whatever struggle you might have. Staying power is, is a huge asset that you can have that doesn't take talent, it doesn't take energy, it doesn't take, I mean, it takes energy, it doesn't take um, a special person that make it happen. Staying power, the be able to stay in the game and keep that those small action steps going will enable and it will literally, what will happen, you'll put a crack in the universe. You will crack that universe in whatever you want, whatever the desire you have, the dream that you have, the life, lifestyle, the financial freedom, the do whatever you want with who you want living the life on your own terms, that will crack if you have the staying power and you press forward even when you don't want to. You press forward step by step, taking those small, minute actions. What will happen is the universe will crack and it will open up the opportunity and then the floodgates will open. Things will go your way. Opportunities will go your way. And for, I can tell you, years, years and years I struggled in, in every aspect mentally I I beat myself up I thought I should be further and here's the problem I put on myself a a timeline of what I believe I should have accomplished by a certain time I put on myself an expectation that wasn't in line with what God and the universe had for me, right? I didn't have that. So the bottom line is I'm in a situation and I had this expectation of this goal where I thought I should be and it wasn't there yet and I almost quit. I, I almost quit, I almost gave in because I didn't have that staying power. I didn't have the, the ability to outlast. I didn't think I had the ability to outlast. I beat my, myself up constantly for all the deals that would fall through. All the I'd sign deals and they fall through and I couldn't get them done. And and uh, and for, you know, some months I, I I would struggle to make the bills and 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 and, uh, and, and have the issues there. And with the with the whole situation, I'd, I'd stress out and I'd worry constantly about what's coming next and what's going to happen. There is a point I'm telling you. You can outlast the struggle. You can outlast the struggle. You can outlast the season that you might be going through right now. Um, it, the tides will turn. The universe will crack and open. Things will start going your way. Um, but the only caveat is you can't quit. You have to take daily actions every single day 
And if you take those daily actions every single day, and it might not be massive actions, it might not be some huge things, but you might call a seller back and make an offer. You might call a seller back and, uh, you know, and schedule an appointment, whatever it might be. You might schedule your marketing, your RVM campaign, or whatever. You may, may, may maybe make some cold calls. Whatever it might be, if you can outlast the pain, the struggle, the anguish, the you can outlast it, guess what? Success will submit to you. It will submit. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter um, if you've had success in the past, if you've had failure in the past. It doesn't matter the, you know, the uh, your past things that you've done, right? That's all in the past. It's not gonna affect your future, right? You can learn from the past, but it's not gonna, it's not, it, it, you cannot take it in the future. You are going, you're, you're evolving and becoming a better person every single day. So the bottom line is, is that you have the ability to outlast. Success will eventually submit to you. The problem is we don't know the timeline. We don't have the defined timeline. All we can do is keep moving forward, doing what we know works, what we know uh, makes sense, the right actions, and guess what? The, the, everything will line up perfectly, and that success will submit to you. And a lot of it is believing what, what we're worth, what we believe we're worth, what we believe, who, who we believe we are. You know, a very successful person told me one day, it says, you only make what you're worth, and you're only worth who you are, right? So, you know what I mean? And the bottom line is, when it comes to that situation, is that you are more valuable than you think you are. You have more value than you put on yourself. You are incredibly, you are a unique, one-of-a-kind, individual person who has their own talents, their own abilities, their own way of communicating things, and uh, and and you were put on this planet for a reason, you know. Whether it be helping motivated sellers get out of houses, whether it be inspiring and, and teaching other people. The bottom line is, is that you might be struggling in a situation right now, and you can't see what your talent is. You can't see what your God-given ability is. You can't see what your greatness is, the champion inside you. Maybe the mirror is fogged. Maybe the mirror that you're looking into is broken, you know? And you're looking into the mirror that's broken, right? And you're trying to fix yourself. The bottom line is, is fix the mirror. And guess what? That reflection will reflect how great you really are how amazing and how much talent you have and how much ability you have and how strong you are. Listen, I, I come from a, I came from a, my dad made no more than $30,000 a year. I grew up in a little town in Vermont. I joined the Marine Corps because I had C's and D's in high school and I was just an you know, average football player, average baseball player, average basketball player. I did everything average. It was nothing really great at anything. And uh, and then I, I joined the Marine Corps because that's the only thing would take. I didn't get accepted through any college. No college accepted me. I didn't have the money to go to college. My parents weren't going to pay for my way to college. So I didn't have anything going for me. I joined the Marine Corps. Why? Because they accepted me and they had a cool blue uniform. That's the only reason I joined the Marine Corps. And the guy invited me. Right? The guy invited That's the only reason. And guess what? I... I went in the Marine Corps. I didn't, I didn't, I did not stand out in the Marine Corps. I remember one time in boot camp at Paris Island, South Carolina, we were uh, running out to go to PT. And there is a, um, it, it's the, it's the guide. They call the guide. And the guide is the one that leads the platoon. And the guide is that, and we're at platoon 3090 at Paris Island, South Carolina. And the guide is the one that leads the platoon. He's the one that holds the platoon 3090 flag. And that, when we were running out, all the other recruits were outside. But me and the guide was left over, the guide and I were left over um, 
in the barracks and we were running out and the drill instructor, there was one drill instructor along with us. Now the guide, right, was limping and his knee was hurting and he was complaining as he was walking out. And guess what? This is one of my biggest regrets in life, right? Listen to this, biggest regrets. As we were walking out of the, as we were like kind of running slash walking, as we was running out of the barracks, the drill instructor said, he, ha he had the flag in his hand because he was bringing it down the platoon. And he was going to give the flag to the guide. But instead, because the guide was complaining about his leg, he said, here, here's the flag. And he gave me the flag. He gave me the opportunity to lead. He gave me the opportunity to, uh, to step up and be a leader and step into a leadership role in the plume. But you know what I did? I turned it down. I said, no, I, I can't do that. No, I, I can't do it. No, he's, he's, he's got it. He's okay. He'll be able to do it. And I, I did not take the flag. I did not take that flag. I did not step up, right? And I, I look at that today as one of the biggest regrets in my life. I did not step up and take the flag. I did not you know, take the opportunity. And I didn't embrace it full force. Guys, listen to me. I can tell you this right now. I look back at that. I was what, 18 years old. I was 1990, whatever, 192. Um, actually it was late. It was like eight, 1988, 1988. I joined the Marine Corps when I was 18. I, uh, born 1970. So, uh, 1988, and that was the biggest, one of the biggest regrets I look back on. I did not take the flag. I did not take the upper. I didn't see what I was capable of because I was afraid. I was afraid. Some of you people, you know, some of you guys listening right now might be in a situation where you're afraid to take the flag. You're afraid to take ownership. You're afraid to step into greatness. I could have stepped into greatness. I was given an opportunity, a given the flag, and I decided not to take it. So, you know, uh, you know, whatever your opportunity is, embrace it, grab it, hold on to it, grab it with everything you got, and then step into it, rise to the occasion. You have what it takes to rise to the occasion. You have the wherewithal, you have the intelligence, you have the work ethic if you put yourself to the test. But... If we see an opportunity and we back down because we put self-limiting beliefs on who we think we are, then guess what? You're gonna have a massive regret just like I did back in the Marine Corps so many years ago that I can never change. I can never go back and I can never change that. Um, and uh, I wish I could, but I can't. Now, that's affected me my entire life, right? You know, I've always, you know, uh, you know, in situations taking a back, back seat to things because uh, I don't believe I'm worth it. I don't believe I, I don't think I can do it. And that is carried through my entire life. Right. And, you know, and just I mean, even just recently, I have uh, stepped up and stepped into my own. Um, but it's taken years and years. But now is your opportunity uh, to become the step into greatness. You know, you have a champion inside you. You have a, a person that inside you that has no fear. You have a person inside you that is incredibly talented. You have a, a person inside you that believes you can do anything. You have a person, a spirit inside you that wants more, that believes and knows that they can go out and accomplish anything if they put their mind to it. You are victorious, right? Whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish. So I look at this situation and I, you know, Saturday morning, I'm going to uh, meet these uh, these aspiring uh, real estate investors. And I thought I'd share this story with you because I think someone needs to hear this today. And it might be just one person that just hears this today that, that you are great. Uh, you have the ability to do this. Take the flag, take that flag that I chose not to embrace so many years ago when I was given the opportunity. Take that and take it with everything you got. Put everything, your heart into it. And I'm telling you, success will submit to you and it'll be the greatest achievement. You'll be the greatest success story 
in your family and your life and uh, and you'll be amazed. So I just want to let you guys know that. Have an amazing, uh, incredible weekend. God bless.